In the beginning, there was nothing. Or was there? Let's rewind the clock. Before humans existed, before Earth formed, before the sun ignited, before galaxies arose, before light could even shine, there was the Big Bang. This happened 13.8 billion years ago. But where did that Big Bang come from? Before we dive into the deepest parts of our universe to find out more, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you'll always be the first to see all the newest updates. Conventional understanding holds that the Big Bang began with a singularity, a super dense, hot, and energetic phenomenon of space-time where the standard laws of physics break down. A singularity basically just means a point where the rules that govern our universe no longer work. Singularities are bizarre, and our understanding of them is limited. So let's step back for a second here. What we know about the Big Bang is that immediately after the singularity, our universe began expanding. Within a few fractions of a second, it underwent a rapid period of inflation increasing in size by around 10 to the 26th power before slowing down again and expanding more gradually. Despite our best attempts, we can't peer past the singularity to see what triggered the birth of our universe, but we do know of only one other instance in the history of our universe where a singularity exists, and that's inside a black hole. And the two events might have more in common than you've ever considered. A moment before the Big Bang, all the mass and energy of the nascent universe was compacted into an incredibly dense yet finite speck. Let's call it the seed of a new universe. This seed is thought to have been almost unimaginably tiny, possibly trillions of times smaller than any particle humans have ever been able to observe. And yet, it's a particle that can spark the production of every other particle not to mention every galaxy, solar system, planet, and person. If you really want to call something the God particle, this seed seems an ideal fit. So how is such a seed created? One idea is that the seed of our universe was forged in the ultimate kiln, likely the most extreme environment in all of nature, inside a black hole. What we know about black holes is that in our three-dimensional universe, black holes spawn a two-dimensional event horizons, which basically means that they're wrapped in a two-dimensional boundary that marks the point of no return for matter. Black holes are commonly thought to be death traps with gravity that works like a high-powered vacuum from which nothing, including light, can escape. They're believed to be at the center of every galaxy, including our Milky Way. Once these black holes reach the limit of their singularity and can no longer withstand the weight of, say, billions of suns, it leads to a Big Bang. According to Dr. Poplowski, the reason for such a limit, and consequently the universe-creating explosion that follows, is that black holes spin. They spin at near light speeds, this in turn creates a huge amount of torsion. Thus, such massive black holes are not just incredibly tiny and immensely heavy, they're also twisted and compressed. The multitude of forces at work are so intense that a bursting point is eventually reached. This, Poplowski proposes, is how the Big Bang happened, though he prefers to call it the Big Bounce. What if the universe and everything we see around us is actually inside a black hole? Black holes form when a very massive star dies and its core collapses inward. Gravity pulls everything into an increasingly fierce grip. Temperatures reach 100 billion degrees. Atoms are smashed. Electrons are shredded. Those pieces are further crumpled. The star, by this point, has turned into a black hole which means that its gravitational pull is so severe that not even a beam of light can escape. The boundary that delineates that point of no return is called the event horizon and a sort of opaque wrapping that doesn't let you see the singularity itself. Importantly, as matter falls into the black hole, the event horizon grows rapidly at first as the black hole begins to form and then more slowly as matter falls in at a lower rate. During the first trillionth of a second after the Big Bang, 
the universe expanded incredibly rapidly, faster than the speed of light. Since space was technically being created, that universal speed limit didn't have much sway. Over time, that expansion slowed down. Doesn't that sound a lot like a black hole's event horizon? Is it possible that our universe is the event horizon in some other universe's black hole? The black hole hypothesis is a lot cleaner, if mind-bendingly hard to picture. We might live in a universe within a black hole, within a universe, within a black hole. It might just be black holes all the way down. This may sound strange, but it could actually be the best explanation of how the universe began and what we observe today. We may have a mother universe that is one of many universes and black holes may be the passageways between them. Does this mean that there are potentially tens of thousands of other universes we cannot even see? How or even if one universe is linked to another is a source of much debate, all of it highly speculative and as of now completely unprovable. But one compelling idea is that the seed of a universe is similarly to the seed of a plant. It's a chunk of essential material, tightly compressed, hidden inside a protective shell. In this case, the protective shell is a black hole, the end product of a dying star. When a star dies, gravity pulls matter inward and the star collapses into a black hole. The hole is a one-way door to another universe, a whole new world. Of course, this whole idea remains a hypothesis until we have some measurable way of merging the laws of quantum mechanics and general relativity and peering past a singularity. But until then, the coolest thing to consider is that based on this concept, there's no reason that our own universe couldn't be spawning a brand new two-dimensional universe every time black holes are born. As crazy as it sounds, the answer appears to be maybe. What do you think? We'd like to hear your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. If we know anything about black holes, it's that if you were ever to touch one, we would never know your thoughts and feelings about it. Let's say you go to your travel agent and book a one-way flight to an exotic five-star black hole. You check your luggage, board the rocket and enjoy the ride trying hard to ignore the screaming kid in the seat beside you. The captain stops the spacecraft just beyond the black hole's gravitational pull. You'll make the rest of the trip using the jetpacks mounted on your spacesuit. No information about a human's voyage could ever make it out of this region, so we can never know for sure what happens in there, but plenty of people have taken the time to speculate. This is Googleplex, and here is what would happen if you touch a black hole. As you look toward the black hole, you see a circle of perfect darkness. You reach out your hand toward and over the black hole's event horizon. An observer watching you will see you being stretched and distorted as you fall closer. When you cross the event horizon, the point of no return for a black hole, you will move slower and slower as time slows for you from the point of view of the observer. Eventually, the observer will see you freeze in position as time stops for you. Your lengthy life would only seem stretched to the observer, while to you, it would still feel like a normal lifespan, at least for a while. As you fall deeper into the black hole, you'll start to feel a greater tug on your feet than on your head. This happens because the gravity increases faster the nearer you get to the center and the forces on your feet are greater than the forces on your head. These tidal forces will get stronger as you approach the center and eventually will stretch you into a long string of matter. This is called spaghettification. For small black holes, this stretching is so strong that your body is completely torn apart before you reach the event horizon. If you fall into a supermassive black hole, your body remains intact even as you cross the event horizon, but soon thereafter you reach the central singularity where you are squashed into a single point of infinite density. Unfortunately, you're unable to write home about the experience. Stephen Hawking had his own ideas about life inside a black hole. The physicist reckoned there's a chance that they lead somewhere else 
to a white hole to another universe or to a new physical reality that's shrouded behind an event horizon we can't see past. We still recommend against falling into a black hole because the most likely scenario is that you'd simply be torn apart and crushed. But if you did go inside, you'd be the only human being in existence to know for certain what it was like. You'd be the first one to discover what secrets were held inside a black hole. So, do you want to make a trip through a black hole? Share your choice in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button below the video and click subscribe to stay with Googleplex.